Ow. You know, just once, I'd love a game where spikes just don't hurt. Like, I'd love for the player to just avoid spikes at all costs. And then in the last level, it's just a room full of spikes. And there's, you've never gotten anything to avoid spikes. You've never gotten a power up to destroy them. So if you haven't been hit by spikes, you're sitting there wondering what the hell you're supposed to do. And then you just get frustrated and drive onto the spikes. Nothing happens. And then you're standing there thinking, has it been like that the whole time? And sure enough, you go back and play it again. And yeah, the spikes have never hurt you. Just to, just to throw off everybody's expectations. Oh, wait. There was a, a game, it was Chrono, Chrono Cross, which was a, a follow-up to the Chrono Trigger game on, on PlayStation 1. And fantastic game. And uh, there's a point where the guy wants, you need the password. But you never pass any, any moment where you would have gotten the password. So you, you <laughs> I, I, it happened to me the first time. And you, I was sitting there, he gives you a bunch of choices and I had no idea what it was. So I just sat there with the cursor on trying to think, trying to, trying to come up with my best guess. And he just randomly goes, correct. The password is silence. And it's like, okay, that's, that's pretty funny. It's Sage again. Ah, hold on. Hold on, Sage. We're trying to get through the ceiling. The ceiling keeps coming down on us. Oh, come on. Here. Every time. Oh. There we go. He's my buddy. He comes and hangs out with me. Oh, hold on. That is another health power up. Restores my health and increases my maximum health. Mini dungeon in there, but don't have to do it. If you're low on gun power or something, it, it just go into those. That always helps. Okay. So we got that jump that we can't make. Power pack. I like that they kind of they they kind of throw you a loop here. You get the power up first, and then you've got to fight the boss. Funny. This is new to the game. This was not in the first game. I wonder if that boss drops some good gear. Hey, you click the video. You're, st you're stuck with me now. You can't unclick and don't try, please. All right, here we go. Oh wait, we got the get the laser power, which doesn't do a lot, but does more than nothing. Oh, hold on. Yeah, if you can tell, the idea is to be on his level. Here we go. Whew, I don't know how I avoided that one. 
Uh oh. There we go. Now we're talking. Just stay mobile. Yeah, be ready to move at a moment's notice. Not tough at all. I can't believe that thing was a mutant. I've only fought 19 other mutants until now. But it was another one. Uh, I don't. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Yeah. So the, okay. So the hover power will use the the special power. So they're gonna start throwing those at you. Now, crawl through and get through one last little mini dungeon with a very interesting boss. It helps to get to this boss with the max power up, not even because the wave gun, but because the... I think the shotgun blast does very well, but the more power up you have, the more times you can get hit and keep the shotgun. That's, that's why I thought that that was a very cool mechanic. It was a little weird at first, but I like that mechanic. Cause yeah, in the very first game you get hit and you lost it. Like that's, that was how it worked. And that game, the early gun was useless. I mean, there were bosses that, there was one boss in particular that if you, if you got to him and you didn't have close to, if not the max gun, it was almost pointless to try. Don't get hit again. Oh, oh, there's more power up over there. If I can get to it. Here we go. Alright, let's get off of that thing. It just it goes it just goes too slow. It's the only weird thing, you see me jumping around the weapons like that. The analog stick on the switch is it's super sensitive. All right, now this is a very interesting boss. Photophage. Now this is gonna, it's gonna appear. If you move around or take some shots, then it's gonna leave like a replicant behind. You know, so it'll come back. It, it'll, after a while, there'll be a whole lot of them. And then it'll double back into them. Oh man, taking some hits. All right, I'm getting my ass kicked. But uh, in the original game on Nintendo, this was the third boss. It helps to be right up on them. The grenades, I should be using the grenades more. I should be using the grenades properly too. But yeah, this was the third boss. And then when you fought this boss after you killed him, you got the hover power. So it was very, it was very weird that they changed it. Right. Oh. See, so yeah, it's the shot. Oh, can't believe that. Let's try it with the other power up. 
Yeah, it was a weird, it was a weird change to me. I, I felt like that was a weird change, but I didn't mind it too much. I liked that. Uh, whoa, turn that off. Why did I turn that off? Just you know, little touches here and there. You know, they could have easily left this out and put in that gear boss. You know, I like the gear boss because the original game, the all the bosses were uh, as this, like this. They were in the little mini dungeons, and you fought them as Jason. There were no outside the car bosses. Yeah, okay, this gun is better. The shotgun's good in a pinch if you know where they're coming from. And the shotgun, you know, it just looks cooler. I'm a shotgun guy. I love the shotguns in games. Ow. Oh, for a second, I thought I randomly died. Not a mandatory power up. This is just it, it. You can switch off the hover and turn it into just it, uh, just a double jump, which saves you because sometimes the hover does kind of you don't mean to hit it and you just sort of hover. It uses some power. It's it's kind of annoying. This will use a unit of special meter to double jump, but it it actually does kind of help. There we go. Yeah, see, the sensor sending me right there, you know, which is kind of dumb. That's why that to me is a is a bit handholdy. You know, yes, I could not look at the map, but you got to look at the map. The map is is helpful to figure out where you're getting around. I, I just don't want the map to tell me where to go. Nothing like a nice little shortcut. Oh, wait. Did I miss the other? Oh, no, no. It's over here. There's another shortcut somewhere. Which I think I need the hover for. Oh, no. This is where I was going. Uh, yeah. Right. Beginning of the level. Love a shortcut. Let that thing explode. There we go. Hopefully somebody from the development team and from uh, Inti is watching this. Please make another one. Please make one and make it bigger, make it better. I mean, obviously make it better, but not. And again, not that this one is bad. This game's amazing, but just please do another one of these games. It's just, it's so good. I mean, it's Metroid in a car. It's Metroid in a car, and the car is cooler than the, what is it, the, the, the Mako or the Mako, however you want to pronounce it, from Mass Effect. Because that car didn't even really do a lot. And it was awesome. And this car is a hundred times better. This is like, this really is like Metroid, because it's like Samus in her gunship, 
Only the gunship also shoots things. And you get to use it in the game. That would be the end all for me is, is a a Metroid where that has a sequence where you fly the ship. Oop, hold on. Hmm. I somehow switched off of that. You know, you fly the ship and you do stuff. Oh, that would be so great. So yeah, so we're headed to stage four. This is starting the, you know, when you, after this, you know, you, you have to come to stage four. Through stage four, you get to five. Through five, you get to six. Then you have to come back for stage seven. If I remember right, I believe that was the order of events. Okay. If you look on the map, there's actually a bunch of space above here. So there are things up there, but it's it's more than you can get to with the hover. We'll figure out a way to get up there later. But for right now, you're coming all the way back to the very beginning. Hmm. Uh, was there anything up there? Eh, a couple. Damn it. Every time. Yeah, we'll get him. Why not? I didn't like the one thing I didn't like was I didn't like how they handled the extra health. It just it's a different color on top of your. Or it's not even a different color. It looks like it's highlighted on top of your regular health. Sometimes I look and and I don't realize that I'm missing a few bars of health. But I mean that's a, that's a nitpick. But here we are at level four. We'll come back and we'll go through the sewers, and continue on our search for. Fred the Frog.